Locally now, Democrat Lois Frankel will keep her seat in Congress. She won rather handily. Her district includes parts of Palm Beach and Broward counties. She's joining us now in the studio. Thank you for being here, Congresswoman. All right, John, great to be with you. One correction. Okay. We got redistricted. I'm, I'm in Palm Beach County. No more Broward. No more Broward. Okay, yes. I stand corrected. That's okay. I, I'm just reading what's here. Sorry. All right. All right, first of all, though, congratulations. Thank we, you. We've Thank done you. this a, a few times for a number of different uh, races, uh, but uh, one never takes it for granted. How surprised are you by the overall state of things and the outcome? Well, first of all, I'm, I'm very, I have a lot of gratitude for my constituents for sending me back to Congress. I, I really, I take a lot of pride in it. It's a great honor. and There's a lot of work to do. Obviously, for me, I'm very disappointed uh, that Hillary Clinton lost the election. Uh, you know, with that said, you know, Donald Trump just, he tapped into a message of frustration and anger that people feel across the nation. And uh, listen, I'm just going to, uh, you know, I'll be sad for a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'm going to roll up my sleeves. And really, my mission is to try, you know, get back to Washington and try to find areas where we can all work across the aisle. Uh, on election night, uh, as you're watching your results, are yeah. you also keeping an eye out on what's happening nationally? Is that hard to do? You know, I wasn't watching my results. So I don't think anyone was posting my results. I, I actually heard it on the radio on the way to the Democratic election party. I heard that I won. That was the last I heard of it. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so you were. And then you, I, saw, I saw it on your TV screen today. You were, you were keeping an eye on the national <laughs> yeah. scope. All right. So, right. as you said, you're headed back to a, a much different uh, Congress than the right. one you left, the Republican Party controlling both branches. Uh, how will that change the way that you push the important issues to you and your constituents? Well, I've always believed in a bipartisan approach, even when I was in the state legislature. And of course, as mayor, we don't have partisan politics. And so I think that is really the way to operate. You have to find folks on both sides of the aisle who care about the issue you're working on and work together. That's the only way, really, that we could still get things done. All right, we've got about 30 seconds left. What are some of the issues you plan to tackle when you go back to Washington? Well, I think this, the unknown is what, uh, what uh, Donald Trump's going to make as his priority. And, and I hope it's just not me fighting everything. But, but for me, uh, I want to try locally. We've got to get this sober home issue uh, under control. And uh, I'm going to be the uh, chair of the bipartisan women's caucus. And so I'll be working with, my, with some of my Republican friends on good women's health care issues and business issues. And, Hopefully we can make a difference there. I'm sure you will. Uh, a lot of work to do on both sides of the aisle. Yeah. A lot of fence mending and a lot of handshaking. Congresswoman Lois Frankel, thank you for joining us today. Thanks, John.